Hey everyone, it's Big Skullver123, and we're going to be starting kind of a different style quest. So I have a few others, you know, your standard quest on uh, standby. But we're going to take a little bit of a side path and go with these uh, randomizer quests, which is literally means randomizing, <clears throat> uh, made by Hero of Fire. Uh, two versions of this. There's a classic one and a modern version, so I'll be doing both of them. Uh, we're going to start with the classic version, which is your typical, you know, NES Zelda style with, like, all the block letters up there. Uh, so when you first start, you have three choices. Now you can go down, that leads you to just, like, a literal um, default quest with items in specific locations. So... It's like playing a typical Zelda game. <clears throat> uh, if you go to the right, you can customize some of the options. Uh, I'll be doing that for the modern uh, version to show you what uh, those effects would be. Uh, going to the left is just going to randomize on default settings. Whatever is in the... If you were to customize it, it'd be on default settings. Uh, so we're going to go with the default... <clears throat> Uh, default choices, and you, know, you give it a little bit of time to randomize. <clears throat> and so, when we are, you know, when you're ready to go, let's get started. And we start with the blue candle. Uh, it's not exactly the best item to start with, although I've seen worse. Uh, let's see, boomerang, hookshot, or probably worse. It's like, those are like the items you never want to start with. Actually, there's some money penalties I can absorb, like, you know, you got door repair charges, you know, typical stuff. Although, not that I have any money right now, I literally have zero dollars. Now the problem is the blue candle can only be used once per screen, so you're kind of limited on what you can do. Oh, that is just next to useless. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> uh, that is a quiver expansion. So you see all those numbers you got there. Uh, there are two types of keys you see. Uh, you really only use one of them. The other one's just like some sort of placeholder thing. Uh, it's used in the modern version. You actually see that being used. Uh, here you just have a, an empty space, essentially. Okay, uh, the first thing I need to do is uh, get some... Get a sword somewhere. Now, there are, I think, only three places you can have a sword. The start. I can't get that 10 rupees there because I can't get into the wall. <clears throat> yeah, so your, your, your typical 1s and 5s, and then the 10s are green, green in color. But again, this isn't the worst item you can start with. I think it's like, probably the boomerang and hookshot are probably lower than that. I mean, those are really bad items to start with. You have your sword, you can start with a wand, a uh, cane of burna, I've seen, um, a hammer, which is not a bad item, it just has very short range. <clears throat> yeah, same old money making game. Honestly, the secrets in, the, in, in this are the same. And that is not what I needed. Oh my gosh. Well, I know where the sword is. Unfortunately, it's in the spot it didn't want it to be in. Uh, this is really bad right now, is it? Because all I have is a flimsy blue candle and it doesn't do me a lot of good right now. I can't do jack squat. Oh, man. Pretty much want to start with a, ideally like a sword or a wand. This is probably where I'm pro I have a high risk of dying because I have no way to defend myself. 
and I need to find hearts fast. Uh. Oh, fairy. Okay, we'll take the fairy. I'm more than happy to take the fairy. Get myself back up to speed now. Ooh, this really sucks. I can't do anything right now. And still a heart container. I don't know what this was before. I'll have to put in the comments what it used to be. Although in the original Zelda, is a, you know, you choose the potion or the... Uh, you choose the potion or the heart container. Oh, I got some bombs, so I can actually look in here now. And another heart container. Again, the sword can really only, I think it's only in three possible spots. Uh, kinda sucks, I have to go all the way up here to get it. I'm kinda stuck, I can't get past this lion all until it moves out of the way. And there's your sword. Again, it only can be in those three places, at least from what I've read. Because otherwise, you know, you can get yourself completely stuck because you have no sword. Alright, uh... Now, what's annoying about this quest is that, um... Their air mechanics are really weird. A lot of times they go against you because if an enemy's in mid-air, you cannot hit them. And you know, you see how much these tech types hop around, and by the time you can hit the tech type, it's probably hit you and jumped away. So yeah, so it gets really annoying. So until you get specific weapons to kind of counter that. And a lot of the hints in this in the classic version are pretty much next to useless. Because they don't even make sense anyway. Okay, so you see you have eight directional movement. Well, that's kind of nice. Although it can make some of the mechanics wonky. Uh, namely the ladder. Really can kind of screw up the mechanics of that. Again, there are no new enemies. At least for much of the game, it's pretty much just standard enemies. At least that makes it a little bit more relief. Difficulty won't really spike up on you. It's actually more difficult early on. And then when you play the modern version, you can kind of see the comparison. Bomb bag. And again, you really want to secure down key items quickly. Uh, some examples include bracelet, flute, step ladder. Uh, if you can get the feather, that's bonus points for you. But there are a few items you really want to get down quickly. Make your life a lot easier. all the items, and then uh, try to explore every room of every level, uh, just to show you what's around. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that for the overworld, because most of the overworld is has garbage. I mean, just mostly money secrets or door repair charges. Uh, the modern version, I actually will explore everything, because there are lots of secrets outside. I got more bombs, I might as well use some of them. Especially when you get freebies. Got a four pack of bombs for you. Yeah, 
Now, there are not that many music tracks in this game. Um, there's actually uh, one track for the... Actually, let me describe the groups first. Uh, levels are in uh, five different groups, uh, from one to five. And then the second number is um, the... Uh, well, there's a power brace one. Uh, the, the second number is the actual level, like, you know, your typical 1 through 9 levels type thing. So... The first two groups have one, like, the original Zelda 1 music. Uh, the next two groups have... Okay, I'm not even sure how I managed to dodge that, honestly. Like, if you get perfectly in the middle of two columns, you can actually dodge both sides. So, you know, boomerangs are missing from both sides there. It's not like I was trying to do that. I mean, you didn't have time to position yourself. I was almost ready to get my bombs out. And another nice thing, you can attack from inside the doorway, so if you need to or, you know, clean up some of the room, uh, clean up some of this mess and protect it inside the door wide. levels, there's pretty much only, I guess, three soundtracks. Like, one, two, three, four, and then five have uh, their own soundtrack. And then, uh, well, actually, the level nines actually have their own. It's like one song, actually. One soundtrack. Through all the level nines. And the modern version has a bigger variety of music choices. I mean, when they mean classic, they really mean classic. All your hero would be like tra traditional Zelda music. big items early. You know, you get a ring or a sword or something. Give, you a, give yourself some more um, oomph to your power there, and this is pretty much useless. Uh, that's a spin attack. Yeah, they even put spin attack in here. Now, if you look at your map, you're actually on a completely different map. And the music has changed, actually. And that's really the only way you can tell the two overworlds apart, because otherwise they look pretty much exactly the same. I mean, seriously, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference unless you listen to the music. short on supplies right now, and, uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what order I'm going in these levels. I'm just picking random levels as I go along. And, oh my gosh, that's just... Next to useless lair. 
food was a trash item. Uh, that's the quick hammer scroll. Like, like you're gonna be using that anytime soon. You know, I don't have a hammer. Um, you know, I'm kind of missing a few items for it to work. I'll try to show off as much stuff as I can. Although it's not that big a variety of items, so I should be able to at least show off what each one does. Reach me. Yeah, so if you get perfectly in between two tiles, uh, you kind of dodge both sides. And the only thing that's shuffled around are items. All the um, maps and you know basic item layouts are the same. in this quest are they're temporary but they last a little longer than your I guess usually when they're temporary they're five seconds. Uh, here they last I think 10 seconds maybe 10 15 seconds uh, basically you do have enough time to clear out most of the screen with that. I have no shield right now because I can't block any fireballs. I think I have a couple, so it's easier to dodge only one. Bombed it, so that one's gone. Okay, here we find a. Triforce, which is, you know, honestly, you don't want to find Triforces early, um, because they don't do you any good right now. Oh yeah, you can drown in this game, uh, of note. I need more money. And if you need to get back to the other side, um... There's actually ways to get back to the different overworlds. Um, if you want to get back to the first overworld, and just a right random hint, uh, literally for the screen right here. So if you want to get back to you know the two overworlds, you kind of depends which level you go into. And it's kind of hard to explain. You may figure it out better if you just play it. Through once. And I don't think that door trick works in this quest, so I actually don't even think it works in TC in general. So you're gonna have to open the door, but you know, given this quest has a huge abundance of extra keys, you shouldn't be running out of keys anytime soon. Okay. 
I feel like the map layouts are identical to the original. So if you know those, then you should know these as well. Because, you know, nothing really changed. And again, all the clues you'll see are the same as the original. Again, vague and pretty much useless clues. Something a little better. Hopefully better than what I got last time. That scroll. And we get another bomb back. Okay, that's not really much better. I mean, honestly, this is where you want to pile up your... your key items. You don't want to be getting expansions right now. So far, I have not really found much at all. I've already got a couple of uh, sword techs and stuff which are, you know, basically useless right now. Okay, step ladder. in this quest, so that's really not that good an item either. Okay, this is kind of a... Yikes. What should I be doing right now? Lock down your good stuff at the beginning, even if you go to a slump later on, you don't really find anything, but that doesn't really matter if you actually have your you know your essentials down. You at least can work with that. Right now I don't have much to work with. So you want to start with the simplest levels, like your, you know, your one dash X's, maybe two dash X's. You know, start with all those, you know, because you are, uh, you're more likely to find kind of key items. keys and all that. If you do it just right, you can actually tap their foot with your sword beam, which counts as a full hit, and they actually won't be able to reach you because they're not on the correct time. Oh, 
Oh, might as well slide from the doorway. Since I have no shield to block all these fireballs. And I got arrows. Useful without a bow, obviously. Now, the interesting thing here is that, um, I don't know if it's just something with the ZC engine or what, but when I, um, use L and R to kind of switch items, I, I actually switch both the A and B items, and I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be. I've watched some other uh, people play this, and they can do it so that only the B button switches. So I don't know why I have it such that both items switch. Actually, it's actually more of a nuisance, because you have to... You, know, you have to know where your items are positioned. Others, you'll be just. You might as well just go into the start menu and just. Item menu and just switch items that way. And again, after every boss, you get a piece of art. Stock that up. And blue ring! Alright, okay, now we're talking some good stuff now. Alright. Blue ring. It's always good to secure that item early. Alright, things are looking up now. And that is just big to get that down early. I mean, I've had runs where... You don't get a ring for like, what, 30 levels or something? I mean, just, you're just waiting forever to get a ring. And just getting that secured down is a... I need to buy a shield. That's no little thing to pick up a blue ring early. Most of the shops don't really have anything in them, so uh, you really don't need to buy that much stuff. There's actually very few items you do need to buy. Maybe the you know, magic shield might be about it. And then some, you know, enemy bait. Other than that, there's really not much to buy. Alright, so now that we got the, uh... We got blue ring, so that's, uh... That's already gonna be a big help. And next part, we will continue on. Uh, find some more levels to go through. Alright, see you guys later.